So, uh, this is a very interesting type of vegetables that uh, we're trying to uh, clean. The, we call it uh, malunggay in Tagalog. Very, very um, good type of a green leafy vegetable. Call it, in English, it's horseradish. And this is how it looks. This is the stems. And I had to uh, pull it, pull it off, you know, from from all the leaves. But unfortunately, uh, the the vegetables grows on a, on a tree. This uh, green leafy horseradish, and this are the flowers. And I'm I'm gonna try. Uh, you know, to, when I cook this tomorrow, I have to um, add these flowers. And the way it look, I know there's a lot of a lot of work. I know when I was little, I don't like uh, doing all this thing because it's like it take most of your time to do it. But one, it's get to clean, and it turned like this because the textures textures of the um, malungai. You know, you can you don't cook this add with this little tiny stems. See, you see? Those if it's not if you cook it like this, it look like you're eating, you know, grass. Even though you I cook that very good. And I'm going to add probably you can add shrimps or any type of um of um fish, fried fish. And the clean one, it's look like this, see? No stems. So, we'll see tomorrow how this come out, okay? And there's a little bit more here. So, until then, I'll show how I cook this malungay. English is horseradish. Okay. I'll be right back. So, today I will be cooking the... Uh, what you call it the horseradish which is malungay and of course I am going to uh, grab few things here maybe couple uh, stalks of uh, of my lemongrass I have lemongrass here lemongrass and more lemongrass so I, I have to harvest couple okay so I can add it up to my cooking that makes my cooking a lot tasty like part of my of the herb ah, I will be getting couple okay yes um, my lemongrass okie dokie hello this is the continuation uh, uh, when I start, uh, you know, or doing all this thing here, taking all this uh, tiny leaves from the branch, this this vegetable is um, uh, horseradish. So uh, bear with me. I will be cooking a malungay in Tagalog. Malungay, very very uh, good for our health, body health thing, and I will be cooking it with um, tinapa. I bought this from the store, not seven dollars, those. But I do, I, I wanna put that uh, later on, that way, it's not, I don't want those bones spread everywhere. And the ingredients are, that's the, lemongrass that I I harvested a few minutes ago from my garden. This one and garlic, ginger, and onions. And of course, ginataan, which is with a coconut milk with my own versions. And that's the malungay. I have to... Um, Turn on this thing so we have to start cooking it. 
okay and I have to put all these ingredients over here here and then I have to keep mixing it so it don't it just stay like creamy creamy looking and this is very easy to cook very very easy you because if you overcook this it's not gonna be you know like the the green maybe gonna be turn like dark very dark but uh, we, we want to keep the vitamins and keep the greens when when we cook it because this is very easy to 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 the uh, to cook and I make uh, brown rice with mix with a uh, jasmine rice and I hope my cooking come out really good and I'm sure it will because uh, this is my expertise back home when I was young being at the farm you know a lot of vitamins okay hello I'm back and now this one start to boil I have to reduce this heat and then I will be putting my lemongrass we're gonna put this all together here all the ingredients the onions the ginger and the garlic you know how difficult it is for me when when trying to demonstrate something and only one hand working because the other hand holding the camera anywho i will continue demonstrating my my cooking how the way I cook my with my own burst version. Oh, it's blurry. Okay, because of the smoke. And then um, the coconut milk is I, I already heat it up and try to cook it. That way it doesn't turn like watery thing. And cook with uh, all the ingredients. You know this. I tie this like this. That way, all the, you know, the, the taste of the lemongrass will, um, you know, it's, it's, um, merged with the, with the, um, malungai, which is the horseradish. And I would like to put this one here to make sure that it cook. I put that one there because this one is very easy to uh to cook once they boil you don't want that to overdone to overcook i know i don't like to to uh was this a lot of bone so i have to be very careful on this one i want to make sure that all the taste uh goes to the vegetable make sure it's uh, and then I'm going to take it out that way the it don't uh, break okay so I'm gonna let that one boil for for a little bit okay I'll be right back Hello, my fish, smoke fish, been boiling here for for a while, and I'm sure it's way done. And I have to take those out for a reason because I don't want that one start falling apart. Because if that one fall apart, the bone I'm gonna be not um not really good and i don't want to eat bone fish bone so i keep it you know like without without um so i'm just gonna put that on on, on the top and this is it's been boiling here for a while so i have to oops 
I don't like those. Oh, the head, it's a headless now. Because I'm gonna put that on, on top. So just getting all the flavor. See? I don't like that one with a with a bone stray everywhere. Set that aside because the head got uh, come out come out from from this one. Where's the other one? Hmm, the head come out too. Okay. But I it's already It's done. So I have, since I already mix all the, the flavoring. Mmm, tastes very good. I just want to make sure that I have to remove the bone especially one one of the head fall apart a oh, couple heads from the sardines i oh, sardines smoke smoke fish okay then i'm going to put put this put this one because this is very easy to cook See? I wash this one. See? It's been a long time that I did not uh, cook. Cook this one. The malungay. Maybe putting this. So have to do like this. Just emerge that from the coconut milk which is really really good and tasty this is a wow and this is the pepper I put pepper I know that one is not hot because I try to avoid eating spicy because I don't want my stomach to start be getting discomfort I use two cans of uh, coconut milk for this so that's just enough. It should be done within a couple minutes. Because if you cook this too much, you know, it's gonna turn like overdone. It's cooked in the green. The color of the, the um, vegetable isn't that great anymore. So they say, you see how green this one is? So I'll be right back. Well, this is already cooked. I cook it maybe not even five minutes because this is very easy to to cook. This one with uh, this little tiny um, leaves, the horseradish, malungay. This is my malungay. I will be eating malungay today. And this, I have two cans of coconut milk. I use two cans of coconut milk. So, because it, it don't look dehydrated. Now I have to put, put this one back. Ay. I put that back you see how it how beautiful this one is
Nice. Very nice. This is done. Mmm, very yummy. My malungay. Horseradish. Horseradish cooking. And that is that is done. I have to eat. Hold on a second so I can get some rice. So this is done. I uh, put brown rice and a white rice mix. I mixed that the brown rice. And now I would be eating. Mmm, yummy. Yummy, yummy. I would like to, to taste this malungai. Do you see my malungai? Mmm, wow. Malungai. I didn't eat malungai for for years. So this time I have to um I have to remove this bone. And I should eat I should be eating a lot of a lot today. So that, that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoy my my watching my cooking. I will eat a lot of malungai. And thank you for watching. Until then, I have to eat now. My malungai with dinapa smoke uh, my lunch today. And of course, my dinner too. I hope you guys enjoy uh, my you know watching my cooking until next time take care and have a great day and don't forget to like and subscribe thank you guys bye bye